Money is leaving San Diego by the millions. Stick around to find out where it's leaving and why. If this is your first time on the channel and you want to know everything there is to know about living in San Diego, tap the subscribe button, hit the bell for notification. That way you stay up to date on everything going on here in San Diego's market. My name is Dominic. I'm always talking to people about what the process is to move over here to San Diego. So if you're thinking of moving in nine days, 90 days, or nine months, feel free to get into contact me. You can contact me via email, text, call. We can even set up a Zoom where we can have a 30 minute consultation and discuss what the best process would be for you. Today, I'm gonna to be covering the stats of where our money is leaving in San Diego, and I'm gonna be using a software or website by the IRS called How Money Walks. And to, in this video, I tracked where California's money goes which California has lost $130 billion in adjusted gross income. Yes, billion with a B, and 1.1 million people in population. And if you do dig deeper into that, there are some outliers like Los Angeles, which they've lost 68 billion, but those have also been lost to other California cities. And we could spend all day talking about where California's moving and what the money is, where the money is leaving. We're gonna hyper focus in on San Diego. Now, San Diego saw massive gain in both population and income over a span of 1999 up until 2017. However, in 2018, it started our downtrend in income. We still have been gaining population because it is San Diego but we've lost over $550 million this last year. And $550 million, it is a big number. I'm not trying to take away from that, but when you put it into perspective against the other three major counties in California, Santa Clara, um, San Francisco, and Los Angeles, those have all lost over $25 billion. So I'm not shortening hours. However, in perspective, we're not losing that much because we still are gaining people because, well, it's San Diego. Now, our gains. So our number one gain from another county comes from our brother up north in Los Angeles, which we've gained $2.7 billion in adjusted gross income from them. And number two, is from Orange County, which we've gained just over 1.3 billion, like 1.35, so like right in the middle. And then number three is Santa Clara, which we've gained just over $900 million in adjusted gross income, 932 on the dot. And then number four is our only non-California county on this list, and it's Cook County, Illinois, which encompasses all of Chicago, which is actually where my dad's from, Go Bears. The Bears, we're having a great season. Sorry, don't wanna, we're gonna have a great season. I don't wanna uh, get off topic, but, and then number five is San Mateo, which is up towards um, Santa Clara also, and we've gained just over $500 million in adjusted gross income. And after hearing all these big numbers, you're probably thinking to yourself, how the heck are we losing money? Just wait. <music> Now for our losses. Coming in at number one and our only other California county is Riverside County. We've lost $3.2 billion in adjusted gross income and Riverside as a whole has gained $17 billion in adjusted gross income this year, which is the highest in California on any county. It's right there east of Orange County. It makes sense, it's a little bit more affordable. It's not right there on the beach, but you're still in California. And number two is Clark County, Nevada, right there in the surrounding areas of Vegas and those suburbs. Uh, we've lost $1.1 billion of AGI. And I actually know a couple buddies that have moved out there. I ran across someone this weekend at an open house and they were getting ready to move over to Vegas because it's starting to grow. The suburbs around there are really nice. You're able to get a nice home for a lot cheaper. And number three is Maricopa County, which is the major city there is Phoenix. We've lost over $500 million in AGI this year to them. And number four is 
uh, Travis County, Texas, over in Austin area. We've lost just over $270 million this last year in adjusted gross income. One of my personal best friends, they actually moved out there. Their whole family moved there um, after high school. I visited over in the Lake Travis area. It was gorgeous, really, really nice. And the houses you can get out there are huge. And at number five is Yavapai County, which the major city there would be Prescott, Arizona. It's growing and we've lost just over $250 million in AGI there. So we've lost a lot of money. Other than Riverside, what all these counties have in common is they're in states with low to no income tax. And all of them have a much lower cost of living than San Diego. The high tax rate and the high cost of living that it takes to be here in San Diego has probably been the biggest driver for most people leaving. Um, that's all I have for you guys today. If you have any questions on any of these counties or you yourself have been thinking of, is it time to leave? Feel free to get in contact with me at any of the aforementioned ways to, to contact me. Make sure to leave a comment, like, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.